Hi there, I'm going to show you how to do a simple umpa bass on the Anglo Concertina. Um, this one is a CG, so the middle row is C major, uh, and the uh, row that's nearest to you, the player, is G major, and the row that we're not going to use, the front, is the accidental row. Um, I'm going to use the tune Skip to My Lou, a uh, very simple tune, and I'm going to show you how you get that bass line going. So I'm obviously predominantly showing this left hand side. Um, unlike some squeeze box instruments, you have to make your chords on this instrument. So we're in the key of C. So there's our C major. Now that note is a C, the C root. On this concertina, it may not be the same as yours, but it's um, the lowest button on the middle row. We're going to be playing middle row only. So um, if you call this button number one, and this one button 10, okay, 1 to 10, up this side and down the other, okay? So that's C. Now, you make two note chords. So you do a C and an E as you call it. So it's C, bass note, and then the C the octave higher, which is two buttons above, and the button above that together is a C and an E, fingers uh, 2 and 1. So you get a little finger on the C, bass, that's your um, and your pa is the C note and the E note together, so it's a, so it's not a three note chord, um, it's the bass note and a two note chord, so there's your first, and you do that four times on the push, to so go with, like that, now, what you need to do is to change chord now. We don't play a G chord, we play a G7 chord, which works just as well. So you're playing the same buttons, but you're getting these notes. You're getting the root note G for your um, and the part is a D and an F. So the overall effect is a G7 chord. So G bass, don't forget it's the same buttons you use for C major, but this is G7. You know, it, it does fine. I mean, it's technically a G that you need there. G7 works just as well. So you've got G, and you've got D, and you've got F. So, to go with... Although the right hand is just simply... Um, This button seven, it's seven, seven, six, six, seven, 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 and then eight, and then the same buttons on the pull. Back to the first one. So if that goes back, so does this. Uh, back to the C major. And the only complicated thing is here, where it goes. Now, you get a kind of a mixture. So you do a G bass, but then you do the C major chord, the C and the E. And then you have the other way around. Then you do a C bass and the G7. Pull, push, push, pull. And the right hand there is going um, uh, button seven, pull. And then button seven, push and then button eight pull, and then a button seven push, and button seven pull. Okay, and the left hand there, a little bit complicated. And to round it over just to the C major twice, and the button uh, six twice. So that's basically it. So your chords are C, G7, C, so you have that complicated bit, pull, push, push, pull, okay, pull, push, push, pull, so pull to get a G bass, push to get a C chord, uh, push to get a C bass and pull to get a G7 and then C and then the tune you know it changes a bit but it's essentially the same uh, the chorus is just so it's, you know 
it's less on the first time it's and then the the chorus is just kind of a, a, a trimmed down verse if you wanted the other chord in the three chord trip which you don't in this tune but if you wanted it if you wanted an F chord that's achieved by playing and it's only if you've got three rows I'm afraid uh, but it's achieved by putting the little finger on the first button of this accidental row that gives you an F note and then you get an F octave here button four and you get the A on button five so it's a mixture of rows it's, it's the accidental row button one and buttons four and five on the middle row so your three chord trick if you want it would be C F G7 and C but you don't need the F in this tune so that's basically it that's the, the general idea of it uh, on a piano accordion or a chromatic button accordion or a melodion you press one button you get a chord not so on a concertina uh, they're all single reads the notes single notes achieved so you have to make your chord up but a two a two uh, note chord is absolutely fine um, so I hope that helps.